I think it's a boost for the Scarlets and us, of course. I think that uh, you know we're all aware of how talented John John Davis was, and obviously in the summer, and hopefully uh, you know it's just a, a nervous weekend when a lot of players are playing for their clubs, and uh, it'll be good to see if he can prove his fitness for uh, you know selection next week. Well, I think we have to take <coughs> you know of, of how he comes through the game and speak to Jonathan. Uh, you know, obviously, he played against London Irish. Uh, there's always going to be a, a feeling of you know maybe off your off the pace a little bit in your first up game. Uh, he's trained particularly well since the Irish game, and uh, you know this is a second game for him. And no doubt, I think he'll hopefully fingers crossed he'll come through very well, and uh, we'll speak to him. And it's good to have a quality player back in that selection. Uh, huge talent. I think he matured particularly well on the Lions. He was fantastic last year in the championship. And uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know he'll come through this weekend. There's no question in terms of his, his leadership uh, over the last 12 months. Uh, you know, he's become a senior player uh, within our leadership group, and uh, he's matured. Uh, and I think that you know the combination of himself and Jamie uh, the, the offers different subtleties, and uh, his left foot kicking option uh, obviously is key to any. A kick strategy, uh, whatever side you're playing in, and uh, I think that uh, to have him available would be a huge, huge boost for uh, Wales. Uh, George's effectiveness yeah. uh, it's, it's very difficult. I sat down with George after the game, and uh, you know, early last week, and you know, when you when you play in a position for so long, and you know, from the age of eight to nine, you become automated and you do things natural. Mm. You know, I spoke sp spoken to George, and obviously. He's had a think in the game, and unfortunately, in international rugby, you don't have that much time to think. So you don't become automated in certain situations, and and having three wingers probably in the team, in terms of shape, didn't help us. Uh, but uh, I think that you know we're really pleased with the work ethic and the amount of work they did off the ball. But uh, we we lost our shape on on occasions, which was expected. Uh, but obviously as a ball carrier and uh, someone to get over the game line, George was as effective as anyone. I think that obviously having him and Jamie in the centre actually g give room for Jamie a little bit and who came to the fore. So it's that balance of 12 and 13 and you know Jamie and John obviously know each other particularly well, play together a lot of time and uh, it's that natural sort of partnership and combination you have and they've worked on it over the last three, four years. I think England at home a very potent uh, attack inside. I thought they played particularly well against Ireland. Uh, I think at half pack, uh, you know, having worked with Owen Farrell, uh, you know, his kick pass run decision making is very very good. He's obviously got a great kicking game, and uh, you know, in, in Billy Twelve Trees, they've got the ability to play one out, and uh, his decision making on the ball is good. And you know, their back three have got that willingness to get involved in the game and. Uh, you know, Mike Brown has been exceptional. Uh, he's an outstanding talent under the high ball. His ability to beat the first uh, defender or beat the second defender on occasions, and gives them a left foot kicking option. And you know, you know, you don't beat Ireland by not playing well. They beat Ireland by playing well. And I think that uh, you know there was a momentum shift in that game uh, when Ireland went ten three up, and that, that England side is certainly uh, you know. Stuart Lancaster said about being mat being mat more mature, and they've certainly uh, done that over the last 12 months. Uh, they've learnt in games in terms of get momentum back, and the momentum shift that occurred just after half time to come back then in the game and win that against an island side. Uh, you know they deserve great credit for that, and uh, we're expecting that uh, in a week Sunday. I think it's important that we just concentrate on, on what we need to do a week Sunday. Uh, obviously. Uh, Twelve months ago, uh, everyone would talk about that. That's got no relevance on this game a week Sunday. Uh, it's a triple crown game for them. Uh, they're at home, and uh, you know, from our perspective, what we spoke about twelve months ago at the Millennium Stadium factor. You know, we're excited about playing at Twickenham. It's a fantastic service. It's a Deso service. It, obviously, uh, it's very open to attractive rugby, and we want to go out and play in that surface that that we'll be on next week. Uh, you know, it's, it's good to play rugby on it, and uh, I think it's just what we need to do, Graham. Uh, we haven't discussed anything about the motivation factor, <coughs> but uh, I think they want to go and win a triple crown. 
and we want to remain in the championship uh, to shout and uh, that's what's on the line uh, a week Sunday.